Hey Beans, and welcome to a brand new Animal Gym glitch video. If you don't know, I do these every single Friday using glitches that I've gotten from you guys. So if you have a pretty cool Animal Gym glitch that you want to see featured in one of these videos, please send it over to julian2moments at gmail.com. Anyways, I won't keep you waiting too long. Let's get right into 20 awesome new Animal Gym glitches. So first up, we have the clothing glitch, but with a little bit of a twist. So it's not particularly uncommon for someone to be equipping items onto their animal and find that they can have more than one of a certain item. You know, they might be wearing two hat items, but they won't show up. But normally, when you close the tab or when you just refresh the page or log out of your account, this goes away. But this person found that even though the items still weren't showing up on top of each other, even when they logged out and quit the entire browser, well, the items were still showing up as having both equipped at one time, which is very, very unusual. And obviously, you can only have one head item equipped at a time, so this is something that was not supposed to happen, and they seem to actually have not just made it some temporary little visual glitch, but it actually felt like the game really thought that this person was wearing two head items. So this person was just strolling through Jamal, going to buy a pet, and they opened up the diamond shop, and there was a pet phantom. Those were only available during Night of the Phantoms, the Halloween event that Animal Gym holds. And at first I thought, okay, well this person probably just recorded this back in October and then sent it to me now and said, OMG, look at this crazy glitch. But then the person actually typed into Google, what is the day? And it shows that the day is in fact way after the day when the phantoms were taken out of store, November 24th. And Google doesn't lie. And you could suspect Inspect Element, but there's actually a video of her, you know, Googling it and then not changing anything at all. So this is legit, and it seems like Animal Jam has actually just forgotten the date. Here is my absolute favorite glitch of all time, hands down. This person was just playing around on Play Wild, and they logged in, and somehow they got into some sort of developer update system. You see, at this time, pandas weren't actually released into Play Wild, but as you can see, there's something even weirder going on in this game. Next to the panda, which hasn't even been released, there's an option to play as alpha underscore peck. Obviously, this is peck the alpha, so someone actually managed to log into Animal Gym and play as peck the alpha, and it gets even more exciting than that, because this person actually did gain control of alpha underscore peck and could run around the game and play as her. This is absolutely mind-blowing. No idea how this happened, no idea what this means, but it's just so cool. So if you don't get the joke in the title, I am actually 6 feet and 4 inches tall. So a lot of people say that I'm quite a tall little bean, and no, I do not play basketball. I swim, please stop asking me. Anyways, this arctic wolf and this fox just got a little bit taller, because Animal Gym's Play Wild cards have been having a little glitch this week, where Animal Gym has been shrinking them horizontally, and the transformation on the vertical axis makes these beans look kind of ridiculous. Basically, in simpler terms, it gets squished inwards, and it goes upwards. So these things look very tall, and they definitely should not look that tall. You don't have to play Animal Jam Play Wild to notice this one. So in one of the messages in a bottle this week, the prize was a diamond, but there was a weird glitch when you chose to accept the diamond. It thought it was a den item, and if you click to accept it when your den inventory is full, well, there's a little bit of an issue, because it says that your den inventory is full and you have to recycle an item to free up space, because the game is registering this diamond as a den item, when it is clearly just a diamond. So this is something that happened to a ton of people. I got an unbelievable number of pictures about this, but one person really did go in depth and explain to me exactly how this glitch worked. So in order to accept the diamond, the person did have to completely recycle another item, but then once they did that, well, their den still said they had 199 items. So they recycled an item to get the diamond, but then the diamond didn't show up as a den item. So it's quite a weird one. I think I have an explanation, but I know you guys are here to just see some glitches, so I won't go into it. Number six is another really cool one. I've seen a few glitches where, you know, Crystal Sands overlaps with Jama Township, or the Lost Temple of Zeo shows up in Mount Shavir, but I've never seen one where Jama Township entered somebody's den. These glitches are honestly some of my favorites. It's just so cool to see these lands you're so used to seeing just blend with each other and see what kind of crazy scenarios they can create. Number seven is a little bit of a glitch with the pet penguins. So if you have them in your inventory without the little ear decorations, they're totally normal, but once you put them in your den, they show up with their little ear decorations even if you don't have them equipped on Pet Stop. There seem to be a lot of little glitches with pets, since Animal Gym releases so many and doesn't always check them over because they're a minor part of the game, so this is just a fun little one I thought I'd throw in here. 
Number eight is kind of a big deal. In Animal Jam Play Wild, when you're playing this trivia game, well, every once in a while when there's supposed to be an apostrophe, well, it just shows up as a question mark because Animal Jam forgot to add the actual apostrophe into the game, or the game doesn't read the apostrophe, or something weird like that, but it just looks kind of funny that there's just a giant question mark with a box around it in the middle of the question. Um, so this person went on to AJHQ's Jammer Wall, and it says, No new messages, click or type below to post to your Jammer Wall. There are a few things wrong with this. First of all, this is not even this person's Jammer Wall. This is AJHQ's Jammer Wall, and there are plenty of messages. It seems like this default message just showed up for absolutely no reason. Oh well. Number 10 is a fun little thing with the new wood-burning stove. Well, actually, when it spits out steam, it comes out of the top of the card that it's supposed to stay in. This has never happened before with any other item, so it's pretty cool to see that these are actually not part of the card, and they actually just put them on top of the card, and it can actually spill out of the card a little bit. I just thought this one was kind of awesome. Number 11 is this new jammer who looks totally normal, except has numbers after his or her username, which is not supposed to happen. When you get the username new jammer, it just says new jammer until your username is approved. And once your username is approved, you can't add spaces. So this person couldn't just have made their username new jammer and then numbers because there's spaces in it. So there's some sort of weird glitch with this new jammer account specifically. But unfortunately, this can't last forever because eventually this person's username will be approved. So this glitch is pretty cool while it lasted. Number 12 is a little bit of a lesson in snake anatomy for Animal Jam. I'm kidding, this is obviously a glitch. But um, sometimes when you open up a pet snake, it will say that you should choose the feathers and the beak for your pet snake. Number 13 is one of the weirdest glitches I have ever seen. This is actually such a cool one. So this person, Forever Fancy, as well as a few other people, sent me this cool glitch where their umbrellas were just turning white. There is currently no white color of these umbrellas, so it makes no sense that these umbrellas are just turning white. And you can actually continue to use them. You can put them on your trade list, you can put them in your den, you can sit on them, you can use them for shade, whatever you want to use these umbrellas for. They're just like normal umbrellas, except they're white. And they were other colors before. It's like they may have been red and yellow umbrellas, but one day, when this glitch happened, all of these umbrellas just turned white. Who knows, maybe these things will become rare one day, or maybe Animal Jam will step in and fix all the umbrellas that changed color. Number 14 is really making me lose faith in this game. Animal Jam has misspelled the word Arctic in the word Arctic Wolf before on the Animal Jam Adopt-A-Pet Rarity Checklist, but once again, as part of this Animal Jam Arctic Wolf Charm Bracelet, Animal Jam left out that little C. Number 15 is basically a summary of what every girl thinks when she looks into her closet. Okay, I'm kidding, but there are no clothes in this best dressed game. Could you imagine just going into best dressed and being told you had to dress up as something and then having no items? Not to mention, you don't even know what you're supposed to dress up as. I mean, there's not even an adjective there. It literally says number 9156. Obviously, not your typical game of best dressed. Okay, so you can see it from the title, but I just want to remind you guys that this glitch is particularly annoying because this person paid good, solid, real US dollars for these wings. And they show up fine. Great. Okay, no glitch at all. Woof! Just kidding. Once you close out the player tab, there are no wings. They just disappear. But what's weird is when you go to the Switch Animals screen, they show up again. So basically, you pay all this money for these nice little wings and they don't even show up on your animal. Which is bad enough when it happens on store bought items. But, well, I mean, this person paid real money for real life items and then got these as their gift. I mean, you'd think Animal Jam could, like, make them show up. I mean, these cost at least a few dollars. Number 17 is, yes, when half of your hamster decides to play hide and seek inside of a chair. This person was just chilling in Crystal Sands when all of a sudden a complete duplicate of them showed up with the exact same username and, well, you can see what happened. Number 19 is a particularly unappetizing pizza. Talk about processed food going too far. I'm kidding. So this person was wearing a black and white item on their head and then switched into the epic pizza hat, which is a promo item that Animal Jam gave out, which is probably why you've never heard of it. But once they did that, the pizza remained black and white and became pretty gross. Animal Jam's Play Wild Facts, I gotta give them slack on this one, there are a lot of them, I can't blame them for having one or two typos, but just so you guys know, 
When it says a fox's big bushy tail is known as a brush, well, you put the plural of foxes instead of the possessive of foxes, which would be F-O-X apostrophe S rather than F-O-X-E-S. So anyways, Beans, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of all my glitch compilations. I really hope you've enjoyed this. I've gotten hundreds of amazing glitches, and I can't wait to get even more. So if you happen to stumble upon something, don't forget, join 2 moments at gmail.com is the best place for you to get featured in one of my videos. So anyways, Beans, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!